What would make me quit my job during the pandemic? The short answer, injustice in America. But since I have a little time, let me give you the long version. In May 2020, protests broke out across the United States. George Floyd, a Minnesota man, was killed by a couple of police officers on camera. And hundreds of thousands of Americans had had enough. Like so many others, I watched the protests on the news. I watched as the crowd moved from downtown Atlanta to Buckhead, where I live. The protesters were right outside of my house, so in true millennial fashion, I took out my phone so I could record it and post it to Twitter. After logging the events, I called my parents, and as I was talking to my snook, which is what I call my mom, I began to get a little worried. The energy of the crowd was growing, and snook told me, don't worry, baby. When people feel that their voices aren't heard, they have to make it felt. <laughs> they have to make it felt. That statement hit me hard because why weren't people being heard? I mean, if we're all watching the same thing, then why aren't we all upset? And how could I help make a difference? No, better yet, how could I make it felt? That was the moment I began to think about opting out. Opting out of a career I dreamed of my entire life. I've been playing in the WNBA since 2009, most recently as a guard for the Atlanta Dream. Basketball has been one of the biggest parts of my life, and yet I decided to give it up, trying to focus on changing the world for the better. I wanted to make it felt. Some people thought I was crazy, but honestly, most people got it. And even though I was filled with fear, I took that leap of faith and did it anyway. I opted out, not knowing how I was going to pay my bills. I opted out, not knowing if I would ever be a professional WNBA player again. I opted out of my comfort zone, and in doing so, I truly opted in. I gained a completely different perspective and the confidence that comes with turning moments into momentum. The next day, I threw a Juneteenth event, and Juneteenth is a day to commemorate the official end of slavery. At the event, people were telling me they heard my story. They were coming up to me like, yo, you opted out, that's so dope. But then they began to vent to me, telling me about uncles pulled over for no reason, cousins killed by the police. They wanted me to know their stories so I could represent their voices. And in that moment, I felt so connected with helping them. They felt that I was the person that could make their stories felt. And honestly, I was committed to doing whatever I needed to make that happen. I don't know how to cure racism, fix police brutality, or any of the other problems plaguing America. No one person can do that. But we all can do what we can to make it felt. Making it felt for me is an action. It's not just protesting and raising your voice, but also doing something to show your intention. I opted out, and now you feel me. Honestly, that was a big move for me, but now that I've done it, it feels like it was almost inevitable. And while making it felt can have a negative connotation of violence and trouble, I wanted to show that it could also have a really positive form. Playing in the WNBA has afforded me a platform, and with that platform, I want to create positive change. So, Big picture, I want to level the playing field so that everyone has access to the same opportunities, regardless of race. To do this, I know I need to increase exposure to the young black and brown youth, showing them explosive fields like tech and creating ways for them to develop those skills so they can seize the opportunities. We're creating a workshop and partnering with organizations already doing the work, taking small steps now that I know will have a big impact in the future. A lot of times we underestimate what we can do, the effect we can have. Imagine if we all started to think about, how can I make it felt? If we all took that leap of faith to stand for what we believe is right, regardless of the very real fear embedded in that decision, I think we would then start to fulfill the title of the United States of America instead of the divided states that we're seeing right now. I know from basketball that all it takes is a single moment, a second to change everything. So let's choose to turn our moments into momentum. I'm making it felt. Are you? Thank you.